Are your habits serving you or are you serving them? Subscribe. Click it. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothing .com. I am Fug It. And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Guys, today I want to talk to you about your habits, okay? We all have habits, good and bad. And you need to ask yourself, are you serving your habits or are they serving you? And so what I mean by are you serving your habits, meaning habits that are self-destructive, habits that are not getting you going in the direction that you need to go in order to achieve your goals or live a better life or to be happy. So let's say you despise that you're a binge drinker or a smoker or uh, you're lazy, right? And you have these habits and you have them for a reason because it's the path of least resistance. It gives you some level of joy or satisfaction, but it is a vicious cycle and it leaves you feeling worse and being in less um, being less happy overall and being in worse shape. You could be in worse shape financially, emotionally, spiritually. It's all just in the same, it's wrapped up in the same bundle because, you know, life, there's a holistic viewpoint that you need to take because one area of your life can impact other areas. And if you start off, say, by getting healthy, it's going to change a lot of other things in your life. One is if you're healthy and you are more energetic, you're more youthful, it could work on your self-esteem, improve your outlook on life, you'll feel better, and when you're in less pain or you're feeling good and energetic, then you're more likely to take more steps in other areas of your life to improve. So. It all starts with your health, you guys. It starts with a healthy mind, healthy body, and there's many ways to get there, but a lot of times we know that we need to do something to change, right? We've had in previous years, New Year's resolutions that we've made or promises that we've made either to ourselves or to loved ones to improve ourselves because we have people in our lives that we don't wanna lose. And a lot of times, the habit, the bad habits, or the things that you're holding on to that aren't serving you, you're just serving them, are destroying you. And you should make habits that are going to serve you and work to your benefit long term. So, like I said, you know, to reach any goal, we need to make and stick to decisions that we've made to create change, okay? And it all starts with the decision right? Deciding to change. And to decide, you know, decide is to cut out other options. And that's scary for a lot of people because once you, you know, verbalize it, once you write it down, it's like you've now got a measuring stick. You can see if there's failure or if there's success. And a lot of people are very hesitant to write down what it is that they want to achieve because then it becomes real. You know, if it's an idea, a thought, or, you know, you're just, um, what do they call that? When you do, uh, when you're just saying the same thing, like a sounding board, but, you know, you just continue to say things without the action. One is you start to not even believe yourself, but others aren't believing you either, and you start to lose credibility. And it doesn't mean as much as it should anymore, but your word should be your bond. And the thing is, you've got to, before you just jump into, you know, setting some goals or whatnot, just sit down and really think about what do you want? What do you want to change in your life? What, is, what do you want your life to look like in a year, five years, 10 years? And once you do that, you need to figure out what are the actions that are gonna get you there, right? What is the GPS? What are the things that you need to do? Whether it is hiring a trainer, a counselor, somebody that's gonna work with you and help you to develop a roadmap that's also realistic and attainable so that you can get there because you're gonna need 
a lot of small victories along the road and something that you can measure to make sure that you're staying on the path. Um, the, the things that are the emotional anchors that will get you excited um, are very important, you know, and these are the whys. Why is it important to me? What, you know, is it because I will feel better about myself? Is it because I want to be in love? I don't want to hurt my loved ones anymore. I want to be financially independent. I want to be able to take my shirt off at the pool and not be embarrassed. What is it for you that is going to relieve pain and give you pleasure? And you need to write that down because the whys are just as important as the rest of the steps. And like I said, you need to write it down. You need to actually get the pen and paper or get your notes on your phone, whatever it is, and you need to write it down and see it. You know, it's like when you have um, pictures from the holidays and you look and then you realize how much weight you gained. But you know, you've been putting on your clothes every day for months and you notice they're getting a little bit tighter. And you know, you might start to notice that you're avoiding the mirror more and more and you just know it's creeping up on you. But then when you see that picture or yourself in that video, and it's, it's really different because then it becomes real. You're getting that outside observer's viewpoint. And that's when it really starts to become very painful. And then the pain of change is not as great as the pain of staying the same. So writing it down, you guys, is very powerful. The reason it's powerful is that you're now giving your subconscious mind, right, something to work on. It starts to work, um, it's very interesting how it, it does it because it's really mysterious, but you know, your thoughts, the things, the action steps you do, your brain starts to figure out a way in which to accomplish that which you really want and that which you've decided to do. And you know, you make yourself do it. You know, you've just gotta make yourself do it over and over, day to day, follow those steps, follow the blueprint to get you to where you wanna go. And you do it even though you don't want to do it. And what happens when you do something over and over that you don't necessarily wanna do, one, it becomes easier because you get better at it, right? It's being perfected through the progress. It's getting better because you're doing it all the time. And then what happens is those things that you've done, that you've decided to do, taking the action steps that you need to take, all of a sudden it becomes a habit, right? It becomes second nature, something you don't even think about. It's like it becomes automatic, right? It's on automation. It's like when you take the same path to work every day or you have your morning routine, you rarely think about it. You just grab, go, because you've done it over and over and that's what separates somebody who is successful is they're utilizing their same 24 hours that you and I get a little differently. You know, they and it's constantly being perfected. You know, you, you continue to learn as you're going. It doesn't have to be a perfect plan for you to start. You know, you're thinking that you might have to have this full great plan laid out, whether it is for success in starting a business whether it's a diet and exercise plan that's gonna get you fit, you know, you're going to make mistakes along the way, but that's not a bad thing. That's how you learn, that's how you grow and you improve. So you want to fail fast, make the mistakes, learn from it, correct it, course correct, and then move forward. And you can do it, you can do it. It's nobody else's responsibility, it's your responsibility. It's your privilege to do it because you know what? You woke up today, you still have a heartbeat, you're alive. You can turn all of it around if you just decide and then do it. Don't wait till you're motivated, until you're inspired, until, you know, the, the seas part, right? Or hell freezes over or anything else you want to use there. You just need to decide to do it. And it's a very powerful step. Just trust me. Take, write down, what is it that you want? Okay, write it down and the, write down the whys of why you must do it. Not why it'd be a good idea, why you must do it, like it's life and death. And when you approach it with seriousness and you decide to change, you know, give yourself some credit. You don't need all this outside information. You don't need to read up and get a PhD in, in a topic before you actually start to make better decisions for your life. 
you already know the things that are your shortcomings and things you can work on to improve yourself. And some people look at like self-improvement and, you know, motivational stuff and just think, you know what, I'll, you know, some people need that, but I'm stronger. Are you? If you were, you would be living in your dreams. You'd be living, living out your dreams rather. And you'll make, you'd be making those dreams a reality instead of searching for something. It's in you already. And sometimes you just need a little bit of an outside push to get you started, but it's you that needs to be the one to push yourself and to remind yourself every day of why it's important to you and make it happen. You gotta love yourself enough to push yourself out of the comfort zone, create new habits, and watch it all unfold. Day by day, you'll get a little closer. One step at a time, one rep at a time, one meal at a time, one financial decision at a time. You can do it, I believe in you. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know your progress. I'll talk to you soon.